Man, is this industry a trip, yo. This industry is funny. And why I say that is now everybody is saying the same thing about this man that we all been saying for the past um, 13 or 14 years since he came into the game. Everything you niggas is mad at Drake about, we done said already. Come on. And you mean to tell me now, y'all all of a sudden want to get this dude out the paint because he made fun of Megan Thee Stallion getting shot? That's your limits. Stop with the phony outrage, man. So, this is what gives me about the hypocrisy amongst people in this media. Now we own this protect the black woman, Steez. But yet, it's all right for her to talk about black men all her music 95% of the time just shitting on black men. That's okay. But he makes a line about her. I don't know if it's about her or not. And all of a sudden, it's an uproar. No, the respect got to go both ways. So it wasn't the fact that he was exposed reading his freestyle off his phone that got y'all want to get him out of here. It wasn't the fact that he had ghost writers and stealing people's records and styles. Most notably, Drum. Most notably, Sauce Walker. Most notably, The Weeknd. It wasn't him using the N-word with the E-R. There's video footage of Drake doing that, too. It wasn't him acting in groupie mode whenever he's around athletes or actors or rappers. It wasn't the corny scent music. It wasn't him taking that public L to push a T in battle. Expose that man having blackface. It wasn't that. Y'all still rock with that. It wasn't even him groping another man's ass. That's footage of him doing that too, y'all. It wasn't him being a child actor from Canada playing tougher at many times. Y'all mad over Meg the Stallion? Really? You mean to tell me out of all this, now y'all want to get him out the paint? He was protected this long now. He had connections to rap a lot, and he had connections to Cash Money and Universal, that machine. Nobody wanted to say anything about it. They, they gave him a pass on everything, because they wanted that, that Drake stimulus package. So now, all of a sudden, people want to get him out of here. But, they, but yet, y'all benefited off those exclusives. After all the things that I labeled this man did, y'all accuse him of, y'all talking about cultural appropriation. He's done that, but y'all ain't check him. Y'all still took them exclusives along the advertisers kept paying. But now, he's saying things about Meg that goes in conflict with Rock Nation. That's where you get your exclusives with Ebro and all them guys. So now, all of a sudden, oh, you ain't been nothing for the black community. You ain't taking a stand on Why you ain't say that then, motherfucker? Why you ain't say that then? Well, we were saying it. You was you, you was sitting there calling everybody that was hating on this dude. He was calling us haters. Oh, y'all broke. Oh, y'all dusty. Cause Drake getting his bag. Cause Drake hot right now. That's what y'all niggas was saying. Don't sit there and fool me. We been saying this stuff, but y'all dismissed us as dusty old heads. So now it's come. It's coming in contrast with a relationship that you guys have and now you don't want to ride the wave no more it's phony to me it's phony to me then you got the fans that all of a sudden want to turn on drake the female fans want to turn on drake but i'm like yo we've been saying this about this dude since the beginning but he was light-skinned he knew how to make music to shake your musty ass so you went ahead and gave it a pass Y'all went ahead and gave it a pass. And these industry niggas is just as bad because he had the, the, the cash money connection. He had the rap a lot connection. Nobody wanted to really touch dude. And mainly because of his heritage. That's one of the main reasons why. They ain't want to go that route. So now everybody with their chest out and want to cancel him. No, keep that same energy. Keep that same energy and support this dude. So that's my thoughts about that. I want to know this. You think Drake is going to be up out of here? I think not. All we got to do is put out another another video, another catchy single. This is going to be forgotten by, about by Tuesday.
So let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is King Eric signing out. Peace.